slime left by that monster. What disgusting creature could do that? middle of crucial organizing business for the Snail Cup. If you want to enter the race, you need to pay the participation fee of five candy bars. There's only one way to get the amount of candy we need. Take it from babies? No, we go trick-or-treating. Oh, uh, that works too, I guess. been trying to find chocolate for three days. There's almost nothing left. Except for, well, I could tell you, but you have to promise to split the spoils. I'm all ears. Well, actually, I'm mostly cellulose, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, a weird and very heavy rock crashed behind my house, right on my chocolate shed. Maybe you can move it. Here, let me open the gate for you. Chocolate! Chocolate! Finally, 
chocolate! If it weren't for Gary, I could go home and watch Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy reruns. You better have a good reason for being in trouble. Um, because we played with magic bubbles and tore into the fabric of reality, creating cosmic chaos that puts all of Bikini Bottom in danger? We said a good reason. Planning to join the next one? No, it's too dangerous with this monster around. I prefer eating my candy myself. Yeah, me too. Me four. What a nice costume! How can I help you, young fellows? Candy! Candy, 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 candy! Oh, of course, sweetie. Here, have a candy bar. Wow, vintage! Thanks!
any chance you know where I could find some candies? There's a weird fish living in a house above the city. You could try that. The pass is next to me, but the way up is dangerous. Ouch! Sticky sweet! Some guy said he saw the monster, and it made a horrible hiss at him. Don't you know people have phobias? Sorry, I didn't know my costume was that scary. What are you afraid of? Boxes, man, boxes. You never know what'll be inside or where they'll take you. And then it's too late. And you look just like one, all square-like. Sometimes boxes have good things in them, like Krabby Patties. Oh yeah, I guess you're right. Here's some candy. Thank you. Balloons? Don't you know people have phobias? Most coolest kid, because they do. snail, tiny, cute, sweet, with very expressive eyelashes. If he's really sweet, then the monster probably took him. He ruined everyone's Halloween by stealing our sweets. The last time it was seen, it crawled down the racing track. I think the track probably leads all the way to its lair. There it feasts on innocent candy and pets. Poor Gary. 
Patrick, we need to find more candy to get on that racing track. Here, have one of my candy bars for the participation fee. Your awesome costume deserves it. Thanks. about a monster. It's got lifeless eyes, black eyes, like a doll's eyes. I can't understand your accent. Trick or treat. Oh, why didn't you say so? Here, have a candy bar. A nice costume, by the way. Thank you. That's all the candy we need. Now we can give it all away to Mrs. Puff. You want to do it? We have to. This guy could use some meat on his bones. participation fee candy with nuts fancy now keep still this is going to hurt wait what it's a snail race you have to be a snail and fast go <laughs> Uh-oh, not good. Meow! Meow! 
Mush, mush, little mush! Sticky sweet! You survived. I, I mean, you won the race. <laughs> Congratulations. Now go bother the other kids. Patrick? I thought I was Patrick. No, I'm SpongeBob, you're Patrick. A little dab will do ya. Oh. Maybe we should turn on some lights and make sure. SpongeBob is too dark here! 
Do something! These tables are glowing. Maybe they feel pretty. <laughs> are closed or if it's just dark. Not just dark, Patrick. This is advanced darkness. Bob's hair pants. Thank you. Ooh, 
I mean, <clears throat> Sandy. The name's Candy, with a C as hard as the toffee in Grandma's candy dish. Thank you for bringing the power back. We're looking for my pet snail, Gary. He got lost, probably kidnapped by a monster. Have you seen him? Haven't seen your pet around, I'm afraid. But that monster, they say its lair is in the museum. It's dangerous, but it might be your best chance of finding your little critter. Sounds reasonable. We should ask this monster if it's seen Gary. Patrick, I don't think monsters can talk. You know what? My little monster theater has been reset. You mind giving me a hand with putting it back in order? If you do, I'll open the way to the museum for you, so you can go look for that monster and your friend. I don't like it, but if there's a chance Gary is with this monster, we have no other choice. Oh, poor Gary. Let's get this theater fixed. arriving. Can't have a scary show with this jolly balloon bobbing about. Oh, look at these gallons of slime, Patrick. Gary must be terrified, poor thing. It's not all Gary slime. Maybe the monster caught a whole bunch of snails. More sweet babies in danger? Oh, say it isn't so.
slime trail leads to that big bouncy thing over there. Then we should clearly bounce on it. You know, to follow the trail.
bus drivers ever got their learner's permits.
told you. Look at all those snails the monster kidnapped. Look, it's Gary. We have to cut off his candy supply first. Already on it, buddy. <laughs> Museum down! 
We have to get him out of here before we're all buried in the rubble. But Gary is still giant! Don't worry. I'm sure he'll go back to normal once we get him home. I sure hope you're right, Patrick. I've never been wrong about anything yet. For once in my life, I think I might have been wrong. I feel like someone's Keep controlling me. Bottom Whoa. weird, right? Lucky. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I need your help. Anything for my favorite teacher. This jelly stuff ruined all the good noodle stars. I can't reward students without them. I uh, need you to get new ones. Don't you worry, Mrs. Puff. Your best noodle student will help you in these trying times. Thank you, SpongeBob. More chafing. A little dab will do ya. yourself. Fish, 
My good noodle senses are tingling. Those stars must be around here somewhere. My good noodle senses are tingling too. In my stomach. have returned to this haunted realm. Gary may be done snacking on sweets, but there are still plenty of creepy curiosities in store. Another good noodle star for Mrs. Pop. She deserves it. to read.
a good noodle for finding this star. SpongeBob, you managed to win the snail race before, but I think this time it may prove a little more challenging. That's all right, Mrs. Puff. I'm always up for a challenge. Don't I know it? Meow, <laughs> <laughs> meow, 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 meow!
said to bust those imposters running around as wannabe ghosts I will make them all suffer I'll curse each of them so any time they want to go somewhere they'll always get stuck walking behind someone slightly slower than them <laughs> forever <laughs> Maybe there's a less suffery way, Mr. Dutchman, sir? Could we just replace all other costumes? Well, it's not as scary, but it would save me a couple of hours of cursing. Okay, fine. Take these old Halloween costumes from my shipmates. They don't need them anymore, since they're ghosts. Now, find those pretenders! And redress them. Rid this cursed place of these imposters! Thank you. 
Much better. Happy Halloween. Hey, I'm a dork. Scary costume. I'm going home. This stinks. Suits you. This isn't scary at all. Ouch. Well done, little sponge. Here, take this costume I found as a reward. It's certainly more scary than the ones you have. Wear it, if you dare. Thank you, Mr. Dutchman. Now I have to go. There's many a rope in need of a good knot. is covered in snail slime. I just had it cleaned when I moved in, too. I know it's a very challenging situation. But could you stop yammering? I'm trying to concentrate. Uh, that was sheer luck. <clears throat> uh, speaking of which, Good news! I found that squiddy neighbor of yours. Just uh, give me more jelly and your new cosmic costume will get you to him. Maybe I'll just stay here and nap under my rock. Oh, sorry, Patrick. Balloons and heavy rocks don't go well together. Besides, we have to save Squidward. Fine. Well, Squidward owes me a nap when we find him. Ah, I look like I'm from the Stone Age. <laughs> yeah, like some idiot who lives under a rock. Yeah, I know that things are getting back to normal. <laughs> that wasn't saying much for this town.
with all this jelly chaos overtaking Bikini Bottom, I got inspired to make a small batch of sea apple jam. Very well done, SpongeBob. You deserve a star yourself. Aw, Mrs. Puff, that's all that I ever wanted. And a driving license, of course. And restoring Bikini Bottom. And longer work days. Oh, Neptune. I'm rich! I'm feeling better already. We all descended from, like, fish, man. Hold tight, Squidward. Your two favorite people in the world are coming to rescue you. Manaka! Spongebob! No blah blah? Uh. Uh.
Bongo, Bongo. Escape, Kabonga, Bonga.
Tabaga, work it quick. Mm. 